two, and that's how my Orlando got an 18-point lead. O'Neal been too slow to get out and challenge Jordan's shot. Yeah, that was called a uh, non-shooting foul. Jordan able to deflect it to the backcourt. No signs of the ankle problem. O'Neal gets inside, and Rodman able to box out for the rebound. Good defensive. O'Neal backing his way and hitting. He's in Chicago on Wednesday night. O'Neal led beautifully by Bowie. Fast break for the Magic. Scott for three. And Longley gets to it. Rodman has been saying, well, O'Neal will be a great player someday. Nice move by, by Michael George. Call for the hold. And that is team foul number four on the Bulls. Orlando with three. Well, Penny Hardaway, who has averaged just three assists a game in the three games played so far, already has three today. Team 14, Orlando. Hardaway, line to set up for me. Now, from Orlando's point of view, although Dennis Rodman has certainly picked it up offensively, they do not mind seeing Rodman take those kind of shots. He'll set the pick. Scott, including Pippen. Scott. The air and shoot over the smaller buoy. Ottawa had scored the last nine points for the Orlando Magic. Foul is called as the Royal took the push. The foul on number 23, Michael Jordan. He all of a sudden becomes taller, much taller than Anthony Bowie. Thompson, played by Kerr. Oh, nice fake by O'Neal. And he is fouled. Shaquille has certainly had his way in the first half against Dennis Rodman, who in this series has done a terrific job, not only on the court physically, but you get the idea he has gotten into the head of that foul was a call on Tony Kuko. Well, because there is so little double teaming of Shaq, these defenders have to play him straight up. Normally, you would shade towards the middle because that's where the double team is coming. Shaq now three for three from the line. And I think that's why Shaquille is getting that little opening on the baseline and really making a good, quick, hard move with terrific footwork to the baseline throughout this series. Over the first three games, Shaq six of 24 at the foul line. With pressure defense here in the first half. Scott with the save. And back comes Kuko. Paddled Shaquille O'Neal and knocked that ball loose. He almost got his body knocked hard to the floor. Three point magic lead. Here is Thompson from sniping between Dennis Rodman and Shaquille O'Neal. Rodman has certainly done an effective job defending against Shaquille. We asked Shaq about the matchup. I think Dennis knows that. He, that he can't play me one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, the rules is one arm, an arm has to be halfway. I mean, he puts two hands in the back and the knee in the crotch. And he still can't hold me. So, I mean, but this is not a Dennis Rodman Shaq thing. And I'm going to just go out and play my game. And I only speak when I'm spoken to. And I'm going to just go out and play. Well, Nobody can really hold Shaq, but Dennis Rodman is averaging 16 rebounds a game so far in this series and an unexpected 12 points a game so far shut out from the field. Magic 36 and the Bulls 30 with three minutes gone by in the second quarter. Beautiful move by Shaquille O'Neal. He now has 14 points. Hardaway for three. O'Neal. by eight. Hopper on the penetration. Rodman with the rebound. And a loose ball foul called on the match. To the floor, instead of challenging that shot, Shaquille O'Neal got all tangled up with Dennis Rodman. He had called for the elbow in the throat. So Shaquille with two fouls. O'Neal try to save it. And step down. And <laughs> gets a, uh, again, a very sincere pat from Dennis Rodman. Well, Shaq actually took his eye off the ball here and, and missed it completely, bouncing off his chest and trying to save it. And 
throwing it as hard as he could off Dennis Robin. I'm sure if he had the opportunity again, he'd throw it even higher if he could. And a, and a half in the first half. Oh, look out. Robin and O'Neal, and O'Neal with a shot on Robin. Let's see how the officials handle this one. Dennis Rodman in a conversation with uh, several members of the Orlando Magic. This one was brewing right below. Oh, yeah, Dennis has been starting now. He's milling around, got into a little verbal altercation with Brian Hill, and they continue to jaw at one another. As there's been some hard hitting there, the shove by Shaquille O'Neal and Brian Hill walking out towards Dennis Rodman. Richie Adubato protecting Brian. <laughs> How good that's going to be right now. But yeah, this is, when you're a teammate of Dennis Rodman or a Chicago fan, this is what you always worry about with Dennis Rodman. The, the fireworks starting. You just don't know what's going to go off. Double technical called on Rodman and O'Neal. O'Neal, who was fouled. Line drives the first home. He's 5 of 5 at the line. Oh, Shaq hit him one, two, three hard times, and Dennis Rodman just trying to grab onto Shaq and maybe instigate a little bit with the grab, and he did what he, he wanted to do. He got Shaq to react with a push. So difficult to figure out Shaquille O'Neal's inconsistent free throw shooting. A quick lead is down to six. A minute and a half gone by in the third. Nice move by O'Neal. The likes to throw the alley-oop lob. Doesn't get an opportunity here. There's the hard spin again. Yes, and it counts. Four. Bushler has six on a couple of three-pointers. O'Neal, this time doing it against James Edwards. A traveling violation. Now Thompson played very tightly by Kerr. O'Neal. Thompson. Shot clock at seven. Pass from Hardaway overthrown. And again, a travel. A little bit different. It looks like a walk, and they usually are right in many cases. They were right that time, wrong the play before. Third travel on uh, Michael Jordan. There's a, another traveling violation. It's called on Penny Hardaway to hold on. Scott he was looking for the three, could not get it off. Scott off the dribble. Rebounded by Rodman. Shaq did not sprint back on defense. Maybe a little leg weary right now. Dennis Rodman did run hard. And even though it was a slow looking break, it been found Rodman all alone underneath. 6 0 run by the ball. Backdoor pass broken up by Kerr. Kerr beating Thompson to the cup. That is number four. Well, Rodman knew that uh, Shaquille O'Neal was left in his dust all the way into the backcourt. Just ran right down the middle of the floor, right to the front of the rim. And nobody protecting there as Penny Hardaway uh, not able to help out the ball. He's in there because Brian Shaw still bothered by the muscle spasms in his neck. And Hardaway had it deflected out. Keel O'Neal having to beat the double team in Chicago. In Detroit, you, you had the mentality to just go out there and kick someone's ass. Seriously, just hit, you know, your butt is ours. Here's like, we can do it either way. We can do it physically, we can do it mentally. It doesn't matter, we're gonna do it. If we got, we got the right stuff, we're gonna do it. Start. However, in the second half, as uh, we have discussed, similar to Penny Hardaway, did not come up big. Shaq finishes with 28, and uh, his offseason has begun, as has Penny Hardaway.
Dennis, another big ball game today. Offensive minded. How come you became so offensive minded in this entire series? Well, <laughs> I don't know. You know, I'm looking for a shot, even though I miss it, that means I'm aggressive. I'm a force down there no matter what, but uh, like they say, no matter how big he is, he can fall just as easy. How much did the team need your enthusiasm? It seemed as though they were lackadaisical in the beginning of three or four of these games, and you lifted the team significantly today. How much did they need your enthusiasm? Well, the coach always says, go out there and give us a spark. Give us something. And, you know, I said it back in my mind, I got to do something. I have to do something. That's my job. I go out there and get a team to lift, and, you know, when you got guys, a group of guys like this, playing, playing their asses off, hey, you got to give them credit. Are you surprised, Dennis, now that this season, as you head to the finals, how well you've been accepted by the Bulls? Well, I think that they realize that they, they see a hardworking man when they see one. And uh, hopefully I get to stay here a couple more years. If not, it's been fun. It's been great. And uh, let's go do it. All right. Congratulations to you, Dennis. Uh, thanks a lot. Hi, Alexis. Back over to you.